Selamat malam. Apa kabar? Tatia, Wan Sang Hao. My name is Terence Tan. Wajiao Chen Li Zhen. I'm one of the candidates contesting in Marine Parade GRC. My fellow Singaporeans, I am very disappointed to hear what Mr. Teo Se Lak said at a PAP rally held last night. Mr. Teo made the threat that if his PAP team was not voted in, the PAP would not honour the election promises for Pasiris Pongol of a new bus interchange, after-school care centres, elderly care centres, and hawker centres. He also said, if the PAP is not voted in, Liu Lian Bo Pao Jia. Ye Liu Lian Ho Jia Bo. Do you like it when the PAP threatens you to get your vote? I also shook my head, like many Singaporeans, when I heard what Mr. Lim Sui Se also said last night. Mr. Lim leads the PAP team in East Coast GRC. In his bid to convince you to vote the PAP in, he said, "Lucky we're not born in China or Malaysia." Hang ah. Must Mr. Lim suggest that we must be so Haolian to look down on other countries or citizens in other countries to get your vote? One netizen said. One should never praise oneself at the expense of others. Do you think that Mr. Lim, in his desperate attempt to get your vote, speaks for all of you, my fellow Singaporeans? Really, ask yourself: Do you want to agree and side with the PAP? In respect of these comments, Mr. Tan Chuan Jin, in his speech on nomination day, said, "Pa si bo zao." Really, his colleague Mr. Charles Chong, previously the MP for Joo Chiat, is now contesting our Li Li Lian here in Pongal East. Dr. Ko Po Kun, the son of Pongol, is now the adopted son of Ang Mo Kyo. Desmond Chu, who promised Hong Kong voters, "I will always be here for you," is now hoping to always be there for them in Tampines. Ha Boi Si Zhao Liao, Mr. Go Chok Tong. The emeritus senior minister at the start of the PAP's campaign to keep Marine Parade warned voters: "Don't chase after bits of meat thrown by the opposition." Mr. Goh also recently said that Singaporeans should consider giving their vote to the party that has the best values. Do you think you should give your vote? To a party that threatens voters, insults voters, and endangers our country's international relations with other countries and their citizens, do you agree that the PAP has the best values? Mr. Lee Hsien Loong, the Secretary General of the PAP, raised the topic of constructive politics in Parliament just last year. He said, "Politics is what leaders stand for and what they believe in." Do you like how the PAP conducts itself? Mr. Lee Hsien Loong previously said that constructive politics is all about having robust and open debate. Proposals are scrutinized so that the best ideas for the country are arrived at. Today, the PAP are saying in this general election 
that they do not want you to vote any opposition in Parliament. They say they can debate themselves. They must be master self-debaters. Do you think that the PAP are able to have a robust and open debate amongst themselves? Do you trust PAP MPs to represent you and argue your interests and concerns? Do you believe that PAP MPs will vote against their leaders' policies and look out for your interests? I'll agree, maybe, with one question posed by Mr. Lee Sien Long recently. He asked all of you to consider what is the best choice for your future and your child's future? You know the answer, right? This general election is an opportunity for Singaporeans to choose members of parliament, the person or the people who will represent not just your local area, but take up national issues of concern in parliament on your behalf. This general election may also be an opportunity for you to send a strong message to the PAP. Are you happy with their policies? Are you happy with the way they treat you, your family, your children, and your fellow Singaporeans? Will you choose wisely for yourself, your family, your children, and your fellow Singaporeans? In the last parliament, Singapore only had a very small oppos opposition presence in parliament. There were seven Workers' Party MPs, two Workers' Party NCMPs. The PAP have a, had a super majority in parliament. What that means is they can ignore, they can intimidate the opposition, they can pass any legislation or policy that they like. Are you happy with the PAP's unchecked one-party rule? Are you happy with being ruled by the PAP's self-described natural aristocrats? I suggest that because Haokang, Aljunit, and the voters here in Pongol East were sensible and rational with their votes in the last elections, many Singaporeans across our island have benefited. The PAP only tries to please you and only listens to you when it comes to general elections. Maybe it's a coincidence that many of the Workers' Party proposals contained in our 2011 manifesto, proposals on public transport, housing, foreign labour, have been adopted by the PAP. In the 2011 manifesto, we suggested the government take back operation, well, given public funds are used to pay for operational equipment of public transport, the government should take over all bus operating assets, bus infrastructure, and contract out the bus services. That was in our 2011 manifesto. In 2014, the PAP adopted. In 2011, the Workers' Party suggested that public transport concession prices for our older Singaporeans who deserve it, should apply all day. Late in 2011, the PAP adopted these proposals. In 2011, the Workers' Party proposed that the prices of new HDB flats not be pegged to resale market and that new permanent residents should only be allowed to buy resale flats after having lived here for three years. The PAP adopted these proposals in 2013. The PAP are going to tell you that the Workers' Party are as quiet as mice in Parliament. The facts show that this is not true. Workers' Party MPs attend Parliament sittings more often than PAP MPs. Workers' Party MPs, it's true, have also spoken up way more times per MP in Parliament than PAP MPs. For example, uh, Mr. Yi Jen Jong, <laughs> he spoke 87 times out of 110 parliamentary sittings. 
in contrast, ESM Go, how many times do you think he spoke in Parliament? One time. One time. Do you know when he spoke? To support the population white paper. That's when he spoke. Mr. Lee Hsien Long has talked about servant leadership. Do you think that the PAP act like servant leaders to you? Should servant leaders threaten, insult their citizens? Mr. Go Chok Tong has called us arrogant for contesting. We will let all of you, sensible Singaporeans, decide. You can empower your future. The power to change Singapore for the better is not in the PAP's hands. It is in your hands. My name is Terence Tan. I am one of the Workers' Party candidates for Marine Parade. Vote Workers' Party and power your future. I have one last message for the voters of Pongal East. You better bring Li Lian back into Parliament! <laughs>